There's nothing quite like fresh ground spices. And with a chai tea, it allows me to showcase those spices. And with this grinder, I can do it simply and get great results. I've got one cinnamon stick broken in half, some star anise, beautiful spice, licorice fragrance, black pepper for some high notes, a little bit of heat, and cloves. Everything in, whole. And I'm using the chopping blade. Simple to put on. And one of the great features about the blender is we have the option to pulse. So I can select the pulse button. The flashing LED lets me know I'm about to pulse. And a couple quick pulses. And what that does, it allows the, the product inside to be thrown up, drop back down, and then grind again. Once I've pulsed, I can turn it off and I can run it on high for about 40 seconds. Now, a couple teaspoons of this beautiful spice mix into milk. You can use almond milk. In this case, I've got half and half. I'm going to the stove with this, gonna bring it to a simmer, let all that flavor come together, and then bring it back and make a gorgeous tea. With the cream infused, I'm gonna add some orange zest, which is gonna brighten up the flavors. And after the orange zest, some fresh ginger, give it a little bit of a kick and that real distinct ginger flavor. Now that that's in, I've got some beautiful loose leaf black tea. You can use six tea bags for this recipe if you'd like. I'm gonna give this a quick stir and allow this to steep for about five to 10 minutes. Now that the tea has steeped and I've got this incredible aroma coming off, I'm gonna add it by straining it through a fine sieve. And I'm telling you, once you make this at home, you'll never buy store-bought again. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, just a quick, low pulse. And I have a perfect chai tea that could either be served hot, or in this case, cold.